After five days to prepare, the deadline is here. Tonight, a two-week pause on social activities in effect as coronavirus cases surge into record numbers months after the pandemic first began. It is 10 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianolo. And I'm Elizabeth Din. Thanks for joining us tonight. The new rules from the governor include tighter indoor dining restrictions, which went into place for several counties. That includes Multnomah, Clackamas, and Washington. Jennifer Dowling looking into all of this and what it means for local businesses and customers. Jennifer? Good evening. There will be two weeks of restrictions called a pause, and we spoke to one restaurant owner who believes he could lose as much as 23 to 25 percent of his business due to limits on how many people could be inside. I was really impressed with the governor uh, giving us time to prepare. Uh, so that we didn't get stuck with a whole bunch of produce. As the state tries to get a handle on the skyrocketing COVID-19 cases, the owner of the field's bar and grill says he's had to limit his seating even further under the governor's two-week pause. It reduces our capacity by about, uh, from about 58 uh, seats to about 50, and then it reduces it with our employees. Um, it'll reduce it down to about 42 seats. In addition to less seating, new restrictions under the pause require that customers are reduced to parties of six rather than ten. Jim says the news coming out about the rise in cases has also caused customers to dine out less often. We saw about a 23 percent reduction in people coming in, rightfully because they're trying to um, social distance and they see that uh, bars and restaurants are, um, uh, are a challenge. Some restaurant patrons we talked to are aware of the increasing number of cases and say they've been sticking to outdoor patios when they do venture out. Definitely we've been staying outside to eat, yeah. So it looks like there's a lot of them with heat lamps and outdoor stuff, so that's fun. We'll try and, you know, support them as much as we can. Jim says the fields will be offering special Thanksgiving meals to dine in or to go on Turkey Day. He hopes folks consider ordering out from a favorite restaurant to give small businesses more to be thankful for this year. So many restaurants right now are struggling. Um, people are, uh, we're asking people not to have the big, huge Thanksgiving get togethers. As you start thinking about all the restaurants in the area, if they are providing to go orders for Thanksgiving to help support them, because that might be the only way they're going to make rent this month. And Jim says if you're going to order a special Thanksgiving meal from the Fields Bar and Grill, make sure to do it uh, for at least four days in advance. So have some pre-planning in mind when getting those Thanksgiving dinners. Also, he says in talking to his team there at the restaurant, their biggest fear is that a shutdown could be on the way in the future if these cases don't drop. Back to you in the studio. All right, Jennifer Dowling live for us tonight. Jennifer, thank you.